Hello, friends. So now we are going to start a synab interview for mathematics. Uh, over yes, sir. Chibukala. Chibukala, first of all, uh, tell me from where you got interview call. What is your branch? Get a score. Uh, so I am trying for MTech research at IAC in computational and data science department. And I am from civil engineering. Uh, my paper is also from my gate paper is also from civil engineering. I okay. got a score of 848 with an all India rank of 141. Okay. Okay, Chibukala. So first of all, you tell me what is the difference between PDF and PMF? So no idea, sir. Okay. What is random variable? So random variable is a, random variable is an outcome of an ex, a, an experiment conducted or an event uh, conducted, and uh, we assign probabilities to that uh, outcome. Uh, to the values of that outcome. Okay. How do we classify random variables? So we classify random variables into two types like, uh, uh, I mean, in various types, like uh, it's binomial random variable, where uh, there is a defined number of uh, attempts and uh, only two number of outcomes are possible, whether it is uh, uh, whether it is happening or not happening, and we will assign uh, two <coughs> probabilities for that, where only two are the variables. Okay. Two so are sometime, the dependence. Sometimes we approximate binomial distribution by norm <coughs> Poisson distribution. Yes, sir. Yes, so sir. what is that condition? So the condition is the number of atoms is not definite. It is a large number or indefinite. Like uh, it is uh, a large number which is close to infinite in our daily terms. Okay. Uh, now tell me any example of Poisson distribution. So, <coughs> sorry, just a second. I am noting your questions which I am not able to answer. Yeah. Uh, Sir, can you please repeat the question? Tell me any example of Poisson distribution. So, any example of Poisson distribution is uh, number of mistakes per page in a book. Or number of accidents that will happen in a junction. That is, uh, if I have to elaborate, that is various number of possibilities, but okay. the probability is very less. Fx equal to? 3 e to the power minus 4x. Fx equal to 3 e to the power minus 4x. Okay. Where x is greater than 0. Okay. Okay. Greater than or equal to 0, you can take greater than or equal to 0. Draw the graph. Okay, sir. Just a second. Thank you.
सर इफ मैं क्या इफ मैं एक्सप्लेन दिस इज लाइक ऑलमोस्ट क्लासिक केस ऑफ ई पावर माइनस एक्स ग्राफ ओनली सो आई सेड एक्स इज ग्रेटर देन इक्वल टू 0 व्हाई डू नॉट यू कंसीडर दैट पॉइंट सॉरी सर आई हैव ड्रॉन फॉर द अदर हाफ आल्सो या सॉरी This is the under the only the domain is there. And this point is one. You are you have mentioned one. So at x equal yes, to zero, sir. will you get one? Yes, sir. Put x equal to zero in the given function. Yes, sir. Three power minus four x minus four x becomes zero. Three, Three into the 3 into e to the power minus 4x it was 3 multiplied by e to the power minus 4x 3 multiplied by e to the power of minus 4x yes oh sorry sir then it will become 3 sir okay uh, now suppose we have a function fx equal to 1 upon 1 plus e to the power x Uh, f x equal to one upon one, one plus, plus e to the power x. Power. How many stationary points are there in the function? F x equal to one upon one plus e to the power x. So tell me number of stationary points in this function. So zero, sir. In any of the cases, uh, the function value is one only, so it will not have any stationary. F x equal to one upon one divided by one plus e to the power x. So how many stationary points? One divided by. How are you getting number of stationary points zero? So I haven't understand the equation quite well. Just a second, sir. I'll write one, it down and read. One, one divided by one divided by. Now in the denominator we have within bracket one plus e to the power x. One plus e to the power x. Okay, mm. sir. Okay, okay. Okay, thank you. Um,
Okay. Suppose we have a suppose we have a yeah six faced dice, fair dice. Okay. We six roll it dice. Yeah, we roll it hundred times. Okay, sir. Tell me the probability of getting number five at the fifteenth. Probability of getting number five at the fifteenth throw. Okay. Probability of getting number in in any one of the dice. A a single dice is rolled hundred times. Okay. Okay. Successively. Okay. Okay. Sir, okay. So okay. what is the probability of getting number five at the fiftieth throw of the dice? Okay. So it is not uh, depend as it is not dependent upon uh, any other throws. Like uh, one event not will uh, depend or one will event not will affect uh, any other event. It will be one by six. But if the question is Uh, at fifteenth row for first time. Fifteenth, uh, I am asking. I was just at the fifteenth row. Okay, then it is one by six, sir. Okay. Uh, now suppose we have a matrix. Yes, sir. Okay, and uh, we have a vector of size any vector of R cube. Say we have any vector of R cube. Vector space R cube. Now, using this matrix, uh, we want to transform this vector in a vector of R square. Okay. Okay. Then yes, suggest me the size of the matrix. Sir, it is uh, two rows and three columns, two by three. Two by three. Okay. Yes, so, how will we check whether this is singular or non-singular matrix? We are getting a two by three matrix here, which can yes, be sir. used to transform this vector of R cube into R vector of R square. Now, how can we check yes. whether it is singular or non-singular matrix? So, in no case, it is a square matrix. So, I don't think we can say it is singular or non-singular matrix. Okay. Tell me any information which do we get from rank of a matrix? So. From rank of a matrix, uh, we can say whether uh, the matrix is singular or non-singular. Number one. Uh, how we can which say? Which implies if we have a matrix of size three by four, how we can say? Okay. Okay, so then in in case of square matrices, we can say whether it is singular or not singular, and whether it whether inverse exists or not. This is one thing, and we can say whether the uh, we can say the we can estimate or we can assume the uh, the solutions of the system of linear equations which are given through those matrices. Okay, okay. Yeah. In various con conditions are dependent. Hello. Yes, sir. Yeah, Chibukula. So now uh, let me provide you the feedback. Yes, sir. First of all, PDF and PMF. So prepare okay. the difference between PDF and PMF. If you are planning to go for computational so, data science. So probability distribution function and probability mass function. I have. Sorry, sorry very much, sir. As it is, as I said, the CDS interview. I thought it is PDF. the dot pdf and the extension of a file okay. 
Sorry, very much. So please re revise the difference and okay. Yeah. okay. Yes, sir. And also about CDF, cumulative distribution function. Yes, sir. Okay. Then random variable, definition of random variable was not impressive. Okay. Okay, so prepare that again. Okay. Then uh, binomial poison rest questions are okay. In fx equal to 3 e to the power minus 4x, you made mistakes first time. Then fx yes, equal to I 1 have, upon... Yeah, I heard it uh, previously as 3 to the power of minus 4x. Okay. Now fx equal to 1 upon 1 plus e to the power x. Stationary points, you did not answer me. Yes, sir. So just calculate f dash x. Yes, and sir. And it to 0. I have calculated that. So f dash x okay. is never 0. Never 0. So there is, that is why there is no stationary point. Yes, sir. Stationary points means the values of x where f dash x exists and is equal to 0. Yes, sir. Then uh, the dice problem was correct. R, Q, R square problem was also correct. Singular, non-singular difference. First time you made a mistake, then you recorrected that award rank. Okay? Yes, sir. First point mentioned by you, award rank was incorrect, but later on you all corrected it when I indicated it. So overall, your knowledge is okay. Satisfactory knowledge for interview. And uh, you can clear, I think, this session. Okay? Okay. So just revise these, all the things of priorities, matrix, and some graphs. These three things are important for you, for the CDS. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Okay, all the best. Thank you.